Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's explore the point light in Unreal Engine. Point light is a light which emits light from a particular point in all directions. Okay, so here you're getting this light beams because of the IES profiles. I'll show you how to use them in the video. Uh, so let's get started. So I'm going to delete this. So to add the point light, I'll go here to quickly add to the project and then I'll go to the lights and then choose the point light. Okay, so I uh, have like any object in 3d softwares uh, this object also has a transform node which means i can select the light and move it i can select the light and rotate it i can select the light and scale it but scaling and rotating are not in control for the transform node however i can move the light for the light placement okay so um, you have the transform node we have the mobility options where you got static station and mobile station is defaultly set um, see what are, what are these options static is basically uh, baking the light and indirect light uh, to the scene which actually speeds up your uh, render viewport rendering station uh, bakes the indirect lighting and shows the direct lighting uh, in real time where movable uh, 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 renders everything in real time which can generally uh, computationally bit more challenging than the other two of these settings okay so we have the intensity intensity is 8 cd which is candelas if i just scroll down and then search for intensity units you have unit less which is basically taking me to a value of 5000 units of intensity it works like a multiplier so i can select that and then increase that and make the scene more bright or i can make it more darker like that i can click this button to uh, optimize them and to reset it to the default values if you go there and then choose lumens, it will turn into lumens. The lumens are the real world uh, lighting me light measuring units. So if you have any light source and uh, either of the package, I mean, if you buy a LED bulb on the package, you could see the intensity of the light in uh, the light units. Candelas, lumens, luminous flux. These are certain uh, units of uh, measurement. So I'm going to set it to unit less and then just uh, stay default there. And the next thing is we have the light color. I can choose any of the color here and the light will be emitted in that particular color there. Okay. I can reset this. Um, and uh, you know, uh, most of our natural lights like candle or anything uh, or traditional light like LED bulbs. So not LED, tungsten bulbs or filament bulbs. Those bulbs are, uh, the, the light is emitted from uh, the heat. So when I say use temperature and then we have uh, the values here, uh, I'm, uh, use temperature generally is used to pick the light color. Okay. If uh, you have put the light color to white, then it works here. So use temperature on and then we have a value of 6,500 Kelvins. You can just ch check color temperature charts. Uh, this is just a random internet search uh, and uh, when I said color temperature chart, I got this and you should be able to see the color is ranging between red, yellow, white and blue. Uh, so 6500 Kelvins is the cloudy sky color uh, and then as you go to the 10,000 Kelvins, it is clear blue sky and then here 1800 Kelvins is candle flame. Sunrise or sunset is 2500 Kelvins. Tungsten bulb is 3000 Kelvin. You, you get a lot of such things in internet uh, telling the color temperature of a source. So if I reduce the color temperature, it turns more like a candle flame or sunset. As you move it up, it turns to be a, a sky color. Okay. So again, 6500 Kelvin is the default uh, temperature here. So whenever you are doing lighting, white is not the preferred color. Somewhere it, any light will have a tint. We have this option called FX World. When I switch this, uh, the option, uh, the light uh, will become switched off. Uh, alternately, you can later connect this uh, in light linking features. So we have cast shadows. It will not cast shadow here. Okay. And uh, we have uh, attenuation radius. In some of the softwares, you have far attenuation and near attenuation setting. But here, I've got only attenuation. So light uh, beyond that range will not work actually. So that is very good to, uh, you know, optimize your scenes for rendering. So if I'm scaling down the attenuation, you should be able to see a gizmo in a spherical shape and the light is working only in that gizmo. Okay. Based on the gizmo size. Okay. 
Gizmo has again got the fall off there. So uh, the light is, uh, as you could see, uh, the size of the Gizmo penetrating the model. There you you can see the light keeps increasing that way. Okay, so that's attenuation, and then we have source radius, which is very important. Uh, the point lights are not dots like uh, LED bulb is not a dot. It has got some radius, right? So I can increase this value. Uh, sorry, this value, and then uh, you should be able to see the light is now bigger. Okay, so. So the bigger lights will give you soft shadow. That is also something really important when it comes to increase in the size of the light in real world. Soft shadows, soft uh, uh, radius is like a small feather given to that light um, so that you get that nice softness. But it ends up in giving some small artifacts. You need to check with that. Then we have uh, this feature called length. Okay, let me increase that and you should be able to see that. Now if I rotate this light, okay, and then increase the length there you should be able to see the light is working like that i mean it's like a tube light now okay and then you can just control the radius there okay so we have uh, some other units which are uh, for uh, controlling your depth map shadow related options again it is to optimize your scenes uh, like your depth map uh, size has to be scaled down you got that uh, when you have bigger resolution, you, you get more complicated uh, render calculations or render time increases and all that stuff you could see below. And uh, we have something important here that is specular scale. So uh, if you if your light source is washing out your model due to over uh, specularity, then you can tone down the specular scale there and that should help. And uh, I would just scroll down here uh, for IES texture. So go to the content drawer. I've already got this IES uh, lights, uh, which I've downloaded from internet. I'll share the link with you so that you can download. So dot IES is the light profile. Okay, it's a, um, it's it's just a, even these profiles can be designed. So every light source which you get in the market, okay, will have the. I mean, when you put it in the uh, room or a uh, hall, it it just uh, creates a pattern of illumination. It has some brightness at certain area. And then it gradually falls off and it has got that uniqueness so that is actually stored in ies profile uh, so i'm going to drag that into my content drawer okay then you should be able to see the star here okay i'll be uh, selecting that light delete that and then add a point light okay then uh, I I have the light profile. Uh, actually, in the, it is there in the content drawer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this and then start searching for the light profiles. And now you should be able to see this nice patterns. I'll reduce the intensity of the light. And then you should be able to see that nice uh, light beams there. Okay. So I can you uh, use different types of light profiles here, which you have uh, downloaded from the internet and then brought into your content drawer okay there are some softwares where you can design the IES profiles too as per your requirements uh, I think if you if you can just put this uh, before a car and then the car will get that nice uh, streaks of light which is not boring at all and again you want to give that uh, traditional uh, car lighting then you know that lights have that uh, warmth so i'm going to reduce that and you should be able to see it looks beautiful there okay so this is uh how you can explore the point light and uh, i should tell you one thing that point lights are uh, used for any light source which is uh, spherical and uh, small in shape examples could be uh, light bulbs led bulbs or a flame anything which is a small point from there the light is emitting out Unlike with your rectangular light, okay? If you got any questions, let me know.